Welcome to Lesson 4 of Chinese Dallas Poetry. This is Professor Teferro from Port St. Lucie. And tonight, we're going to examine um, the um, influences on Taoism from the time it began with the Upanishads from India to uh, uh, Buddhism and um, Confucianism. Uh, these are the three major influences on Taoism. Uh, so uh, let's look at the be let's go from the beginning and see what happened. Uh, initially, um, there was native Taoism, uh, basically religious Taoism or uh, what you would call superstitious Taoism, uh, in maybe 5000 BC, 6000 BC, and um, this was reinforced by the Upanishads that came from India through Tibet. Um, the Indians had thousands of gods, and the, the Taoists were happy with only hundreds of gods. So um, it reinforced the belief systems of uh, deities and power from heaven and the mandate of heaven. The mandate of heaven basically comes from the power of heaven, the power of these gods in heaven. So um, we have the influence of the Upanishads. Then uh, later, um, after um, Buddhism became popular in India, it also uh, traveled through Tibet. And then you had a Tibetan form of Buddhism and a Chinese form of Buddhism, which is quite different from the Indian forms of Buddhism. Um, and both types of Buddhism influenced Taoism. Um, Buddhism is a very um, structured and disciplined religion. Uh, and there's a lot of structure and uh, discipline in um, Taoism as well, especially um, in the uh, the the uh, methods that Chinese uh, people do with families and traditions. There's a great deal of tradition in ancient Chinese Taoism. So um, we can thank the um, the influx of Buddhism for a lot of the influences on modern Taoism. Um, but the final and the biggest influence of all, of all three of these, would be Confucianism, which uh, reared its head approximately in 500 BC. And um, once Buddhism, uh, excuse me, once Confucianism became embedded in Chinese society, it took everything along with it. And that included ancient Taoist belief systems. Now, it's interesting that uh, Confucianism recognized and appreciated philosophical Taoism, but it did not really recognize and appreciate religious Taoism very much. So this was good for philosophical Taoists. They had something in common with the Confucianists, common sense and, and science and math and logic and things like that. But um, it was not good for the religious Taoists who were looked upon uh, by the Confucianists as just superstitious fools who were, you know, just running around doing silly things. So um, the bottom line is that Confucianism um, basically preferred philosophical Taoism to religious Taoism. And as a result, religious Taoism was on the way out in China. Um, pretty much during the Han Dynasty and every dynasty thereafter. Um, and those are the three major influences that you see on Taoism, the Upanishads, Buddhism, and Confucianism. So until next time, uh, this is Professor Teferro from Port St. Lucie, wishing you all a happy evening, and I'll see you next time. Take care.